<laughs> Thank you. So yeah, it's my first time at this um, meetup, so kind of new to everyone. And today I'm just going to talk about how GovTech boosts the nation with AWS. And I'm not as technical as the rest of them because, you know, um, I'm supposed to be vendor agnostic. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to share with you guys how we do AWS. But first, I'm just going to do a little bit of promotion for those that, who, who do not know uh, GovTech. This is the long word, Government Technology <coughs> Agency of Singapore. Uh, if you shorten it to GTA, it's a totally different acronym, so we don't do we don't want that. That's why GovTech, and our logo's moving. So, yeah, um, do it because we're bold. Uh, formerly known as IDA, right? Um, for those who know IDA, we do a lot of things. So now it's split. GovTech is uh, a branch that actually does a lot of engineering and software development, hardware stuff. Um, so. Right on top, we are awesome and happy, and we try to bring that culture to everyone. Uh, we are hands-on, agile, so we do you know software development and all that in an agile way. So AgileCon is by uh, one of our directors. Um, all that good stuff. I know I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna blast. Okay, this is me. <laughs> uh, I was giving a workshop at, uh, he was there, at Hive. Uh, this is my, my office actually, very open, very, like, it's like you know, software, startup kind of environment. Um, and we also have autonomous wheelchair. So maybe Amazon can help with that. <laughs> so okay. navigates around. And a, yes. a wheelchair that doesn't need a driver? What's yes. A use case would be in the hospital when nurses are actually nursing the, vic uh, the victim, sorry, the patients. Uh, so they, they don't want to spend the time to actually push from point A to point B because the hospital might be a little bit big. So you just set it on the mat, put them on the wheelchair, off they go. Package, yeah, like a magic owl in Harry Potter. So, and uh, our building is in Hive Sandcrawler, uh, same as Lucasfilms and Disney. So we can actually see Iron Man. I don't know why Marvel is there, but apparently they invaded uh, Disney. So yeah, uh, me, my URL. If you are interested in me, just a little bit of background um, about me. Uh, I went to SMU, born and uh, raised in Singapore, but I went to CMU for my master's degree and kind of stayed there for a while because um, I like it. <laughs> then I came back uh, to South the Nation-ish. Uh, so right now, I, I wear many hats. Today I'm wearing my uh, AWS accounts engineer hat, where I talk to you from the point of uh, how we use AWS and other good stuff. Also, I do mixed martial arts and self-defense. If you hire me, you get digital and physical defense. So it's awesome, because I do security. Huh? I was a medic in the SAF. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> and a disclaimer, uh, anything I say here doesn't actually represent my organization. Uh, you know, disclaimer, so I don't, you, Singapore is a fine country, right? I can be fine by actually standing here and saying nonsense. So yeah, uh, humor is necessary, so I like to be candid and less casual, as you can see. This is how I dress and go to work. All right, let's get down to business. So, should you just Traditionally, we use data centers, right? Uh, everything is tight. You want to deploy something, you have to buy a rack or hardware, then you get engineers to deploy the software, blah, blah, blah. So we all know why moving to the cloud is good, because also we have a shift in mindset. So the government is trying to be as agile as the industry. So therefore, the, um, we, we, are, we are using private cloud at first. We built our own cloud, and that was kind of cost inefficient per se or slower. Then we now are exploring public cloud. So keeping up with industry and it is actually happening uh, right uh, where we are at Hive. So other factors are because moving to public cloud because everyone's using the same, you know, compute resource is cheap. We want to be prudent because we're using taxpayers' money. So very efficient. It's very scalable-ish. Some things aren't. And sometimes security, uh, we have to consider that and balance that depending on how much risk the organization can uh, accept, right? So, uh, and there are really cloudy uh, requirements when it comes to choosing a cloud provider, because different providers you know, provide different stuff. And I really know what, AW, what you know. I really hope you know what AWS means, uh, because Azure is another competitor, and Google Cloud is yet another cloud competitor. So, right, uh, this slide actually indicates about um, 
give you an idea of how many humans we have. Three, kind of a three to five engineers doing the administration of AWS. The, the creation, the deletion, the management, the admin. So like, you know, actually just managing accounts. But under, uh, above all that, we have tens of other engineers who, who don't actually get to get so hands-on on the management. So that's, that's my role, right? I used to do more of the actual development on the, on the like Lambda and EC2, S3, but now I try to do more of the engineering. So consolidating all the accounts and security and monitoring how they use the accounts. So uh, how, how should we use it or how do we use it is you know, governed by cloud policies because we are now in the government. Uh, includes a lot of security compliance and operations requirements, like tens and thousands of pages. So I don't want to bore you with that, so I just summarize all this and this is Exactly the key point, if you think about it, is data classification, right? Because everyone's data is stored uh, with us, sensitive or not. Then we have classified or unclassified. So right now we only can process unclassified, right? Like population, traffic data, things that are kind of public. Those we use the cloud a lot. Other than that, uh, like your personal IC number, etc. We we don't do it in AWS. We still do it the traditional way, in our own data center, right? Yeah. So we are looking into more ways to kind of uh, tokenize. You guys have heard of tokenization? Just trying to anonymize data, so it becomes more public rather than identifiable. Yeah. All right. So it's not where the services are. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so we use all these. Uh, did anyone catch the one right on top? We use all these data and actually, uh, these services and those that are available in Singapore, obviously. Right? We don't always get the services first uh, at first launch because uh, <laughs> hey, you're laughing at something. Because US East and US West always gets it first, right? Um, and today I was supposed to talk about AWS uh, Batch. I did play around with it, but I didn't have too much time to go into too technical details. Uh, maybe next time. <laughs> yeah. I found it pretty interesting. So, have you seen the truck? You use the snowmobile? Um, yeah, I just, uh, we, don't, we don't use it. It's, no, uh, it's, it's not available here, I don't know. You actually have to submit a, a form to do that. But, but the top three are the uh, EC2, S3, and RDS, which is really common because we are still pretty early uh, in our deployment and usage of AWS, right? So the rest just basically plays a support role, but kind of is the backbone to AWS. Let's talk about the top three. Like all software shops, we use softwares on top of uh, AWS, and those are common ones. We use the Alessian. Uh, suit. So everything sits on it, we gain speed and agility, Be, uh, everybody knows that, right? I don't have to go into too much details. So the good thing is this line is kind of blurred now, so I sit right in the middle, DevOps, so you manage development as well as ops, all in one. So it's kind of where we are moving to it. So this is also kind of our CI/CD pipeline, nothing special. Uh, I mean, you have seen it in a lot of DevOps conference, blah, blah, blah. You put a code on one side, you pipe it through. We use Telegram, so it's open source, it has bots. It actually tells us, hey, your build has failed or your build is successful. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of cute. And it comes out from the other end, right? Uh, also, check marks. Uh, it, it does our security scans and all that stuff integrated with uh, all our CI tools. And how do we actually deploy it? So the CD part is kind of tough because we operate in hybrid mode. We can actually get pretty quick at the CI part, right? Uh, we can do all that build, but then at the end, you actually need humans who have clear clearance to go into the deployment center to, to deploy it and test it again. So, but it's no longer entirely in the air gap environment right, right now kind of in a hybrid mode. So this is like kind of the overall so what we're using. Do you really use CDs? No. <laughs> <laughs> Snowmobiles. Maybe. 
Okay, and I'm using one. So uh, I'm a security guy, so I use CloudTrail a lot, uh, which is like the first thing I turn on when I give somebody an account. Uh, so from there, you actually pipe it through S3, set up all the CloudWatch, good stuff, you set your rules, alerting, so whenever somebody is doing something kind of... I set rules, so when they kind of trigger the rules, I get to know what they do and kind of tell them, hey, uh, from an education point of view, you know, we, we try not to enforce because that actually breaks our uh, openness culture, right? If you're enforcing me, I feel kind of like locked down and tied to a policy. So, but we're in the government. Uh, there are certain audits that we have to adhere to. Things like that. So we can kind of just educate them, say, hey, don't open your security group port 0 to 65235 to slash 0 because that's bad and attached it to all instance. So things like that. That's a, that's a decent. Sure. All right, Kibana, dashboard, AWS link. This is by AWS themselves. I found it really useful, so thank you. Uh, what you need to do is to put the CloudFormation stack into your CloudFormation and type it. So it basically pipes your cloud trail all the way to a Kibana dashboard. But like you said, use you know, memory, application thing. That was interesting. So, you once it gets. AWS one? Yes, I am. Yeah. So, I'm still kind of figuring it out. Yeah, me too. And yeah. I generally on the fans. I generally have to figure it out when it fails. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So at, least, at least it makes my job easier rather than digging through uh, CloudTrail or S3. Right. So, is it the Elastic Search about Kibana? Yes. There's yeah, also Kibana is the. Is the yeah. The, the, the front, Just front view for, for mm -hmm. Elasticsearch. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really nice, it's all native to AWS, and you don't, you don't need to spend a whole lot of money on your SIEM, right? Like Splunk costs you a lot of money. Yeah, and you guys, um, so Amazon doesn't have uh, like a license for, for Elasticsearch, right? You have to actually buy something. I have no idea. They have something, I, I don't like it, but you can chat about that after <laughs> that little bit. All right, got it. So also asset management. One thing that I use Lambda for is to query all my assets within the account and write it to a flat file in S3, in CSV. Telling me how many, at this moment, how many C2 instances I have, what are their ports open, uh, what are their security groups, and then I can find out what are their ports, blah, 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 and their IAM, and how long have they been up they have been up for and running for three years without patching. Oh, okay, I need to take a look at that. So things like that. Uh, and then send an email to me notifying that they have done the job. So that's asset management for you in AWS 101. And this guy, if you have time, look at the, uh, uh, the link that I provided. He actually hacked Lambda with uh, misconfigured permissions. It's kind of cool. He managed to retrieve data from the RDS all the way to his console. Uh, I don't have time to talk more, but uh, just be very careful about your permission that you put on your Lambda function, not not startup stuff. Yeah, uh, I will share the slide so you guys can actually uh, take a look. Uh, and one more thing about uh, something that I actually propose is using a control plane pattern. If you guys have heard of it, so. These rectangles are actually one AWS account each. So project A, B, and C are at the bottom, and the control account is at the top. So there's nothing in the control account except for IAM users. So I log in as an IAM user, I get a temporary credentials in project A, and I'm an admin. But in project B and C, I am an RO. So I get temporary credentials. Why? One use case that I think of is in project A, uh, things get compromised, what do you do? Do you, I don't know, if your root key, your root access key gets compromised, this whole account is, is gone, right? I have to wipe it. So that's m our way of mitigating our risk, containing our risk. Instead of having one account and many VPCs, the root access key still can actually access all your VPCs. So it's kind of a, that's why we have the creation and deletion of accounts. That way we can manage those uh, accounts. So how much time do I have? Okay, so this is data.gov.sg, uh, our public one-stop government public data. 
this is a blog post and this is a YouTube video. Palani, my co-worker, he went to 2016 AWS Summit and presented. This was from his slide, not my credit, or his. He is the architect of all these, so he actually made this a uh, development environment so they can rapidly test their code and deploy it to data.gov.sg. This is purely entirely hosted on AWS. Nothing of the hybrid stuff, because everything is public. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, cloud in the long run. So we will, we are designing for scale and flexibility, trying to be uh, vendor agnostic, because we are the public sector. Right? Uh, experimenting with new cloud services is always exciting. But one thing that I um, would like to happen more is making people come for more DevOps uh, meetups and education. Uh, and also actually hands-on. So, um, this is just another funny slide that I have. Uh, you guys get my humor by now. Uh, future users, these are things that I would want to implement in my organization just to save money, <coughs> manage secrets, and automation, and all that good stuff. Oh, AWS, I really want this so you can help me with my... Yes. Control, control plane stuff. So one main Is account that an pushing up. Uh, I don't know if it's here it's in Singapore. Okay, that's the yeah. Oh, sorry. Da 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 da. responder. Oh, awesome. That's it. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thanks for the. Uh, Thank you. Lightning. Yeah,